Johnny. <laughs> good morning, ladies and gents. Chris here from DE Razor Shaving with a new shave video. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, I can't take credit for this. I stole this from Tobin's, uh, Tobin's Throwbacks. Link down below to his channel. Yeah. So, so Tobin's Throwbacks, he did his review and he's had this. He's had this at Lego for a while. This isn't his. This is mine. I bought it. But I got inspired by him and I wanted to put this in my shave of the days because I copied him. I copied him. <laughs> he's probably watching my video and I already told him about it like behind the scenes anyway. So yeah, he already knows. So yeah. I did not come up with this. Tobin's throwbacks came up with it and I copied it. So anyways, <laughs> so what are we doing in this? I've got a lot of talking to do in this one. I got a lot of talking to do in this one. And yeah, four days worth of growth. I did shave on Halloween. I wanted to do this uh, video on Halloween, but my mom was here and I don't do videos with her here doing here. It just, it feels weird. And it is, you guys know. So I did do a shave on Halloween, but this is the one I wanted to do for Halloween. So, but we're going to get into this and we got a lot of talking points in this one. So first of all, brush we're going to be going with is a brush that I made. Huh? Yeah, I made this. I took a shot glass. This is a Jim Beam shot glass. You can pick these up off eBay fairly cheap. I think it's from like 90, 1996 or something. You can get them wholesale. Anyway, I made this brush. So what I did is I took a Jim Beam shot glass. I filled it with Fimo clay. If you guys know what Fimo clay is, packed it down as tight as I could baked it in the oven, and then took it to Forstner bit and flattened it out as much as I wanted to so I could set the knot in there. So the knot in there is siliconed in, and that is Fimo clay. And it's a 24 millimeter synthetic maggards knot is in there, and I actually made two of them. So this one is the same thing, but this is a maggards, I got a cat, yeah. Um, yeah, my cat gets on everything. 24 millimeter two band badger knot. And that one's siliconed in there too. My cat's a rag doll, so yeah. But I'm going to be using this one today. And we're at 947 subscribers. So it's a little bit, a little bit while before I get to 1,000. But when I do get to 1,000 subscribers, the winner is actually going to be winning one of these. So <clears throat> whatever one you want. You want the badger one or you want the synthetic one. The winner gets to pick whichever brush they want. And I will give that away to you. Cool, but we're going to be using the synthetic synthetic one today. DE Razor we're going with, we're going to be mashing razors again. Carve Overlander 7075 top cap. Carve Overlander stainless steel bottom cap. Uh, knot handle, red tip. And I'm going to be using a new DE blade for the first time. I picked these up from the Razor Company. And Crystal was doing a short video of like new stuff that they have at the Razor Company. I'm like, oh, I want to get that. And then the next day, uh, Angelo, Peter... Matt and myself did the live, and Angelo used these DE blades. I'm like, dude, I'm going to buy those. I'm going to buy those. So, yeah. Pick these up from the Razor Company. These are Tatara DE blades. So, they're platinum coated, and it says each blade is engineered to provide between four to eight shaves. So, I'm going to take one of these blades. In the next few videos, I'm going to be just using one of these blades. So, cool packaging. I mean, it's like, yeah. Um, Swedish stainless steel made in Europe. I'm going to give them a go. I've never ever tried any of the Tatara DE razors. I know I think I think there's three. I could be wrong, but I've never tried any of them. I've heard like good stuff about them though. But I wanted to try the DE blades. Pretty inexpensive. So there's the wrapping. Tatara. Musa Moon, double wrapped. So here's another one. Do 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 do. Ooh, I'll pull it out of there. Yeah, it's got wax on it. And it does say stuff. It says Tatara Platinum Coated Blade. And then it has uh, that samurai guy. You can barely see it, though. It's really faint up top. And then you can see the little the samurai guy right there. But yeah, it's very, very faint. But you, just, you can still see it if you have if you have it in hand. On camera, it doesn't, it doesn't pick it up very... Do very good justice on it. Bam! Got that in there. So I want to give these a go. So like I said, the next few shaves, I'm going to be using these this particular DE blade and see how many shaves I can get out of it. Because it says you can get between four to eight shaves. Let's find out. Put it to the test. So that's in there. Okay. Talking points. Uh, Pre-shave we're going to be going with. I'm going to go use my Razor Emporium pre-shave. Razor Emporium actually now does have an unscented pre-shave bar. So if you're interested in unscented... This is the scented one. If you want an unscented pre-shave bar, 
Check it out on Razor Boy, man. I'll link down below to that one and the other one. Okay, enough talking. No, no, we're going to do a lot more talking. This is from First Line Shave, room 237. And talking because there's a lot in this label. I mean, look at that. Like, you could see, like, the room. You see the blood and the wall. And then it goes into that nice, 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 nice touch right there. So, talking about the label... Uh, this is the 3.1 base, St. Louis for length shave. I initially bought just the soap. I'm like, I'll try and pair it with something, blah, blah, blah. I got the soap and they <laughs> sneakily, they sent me the EDP. So I smelt the soap. I was like, it smells damn good. And I smelt the EDP, splayed it on my wrist and I'm like, I made a mistake. I got to get the splash in the EDP. So I went and bought the splash in the EDP. I got it on Wednesday. So yeah, that's already gone. It's... <laughs> I love this. This stuff smells damn good. So, I want to talk about the label, though. Obviously, the Grady sisters from The Shining, they look a little bit older. They're not facing us. They're facing the wall or whatever this is. This is I got a lot to talk about this label. I don't know a lot of people have actually seen and talked about the label more. So, you got the sisters. You got them standing in this, like, black blood. But at the same time, they are ghosts. So, they are ghosts. So, they're in the blood. But at the same time, the blood is, like, dripping down onto this other pool right here. So they're almost floating at the same time. It's awesome. Whoever did this label is pretty badass genius. So you got the blue here, and you got the blue here. And if you look really close, let me see. I don't know what she's holding right here. Is she holding an ax? Is she holding a book? She's holding something in her hand. And yeah, we're talking about the label a lot. It's got doorways, but they don't see handles. There's no handles on the doorways. Like, is it opened? Uh, blood on the walls, obviously. And what's really cool is you got the chandelier. There look, it looks like candles. And then there's a chandelier, but there's another light in there. And if you look, there's a doorway. Obviously, the first line shave. But there's no handle. It's open. And if you look on the bottom, really artistically done well. There's no line like how it is in the bottom of these doors. It's totally open like you're walking into that. Whoever did that label is a flipping genius. That's so artistically awesome. Like last night I was looking at the label, just dissecting it and looking at every little damn detail in it. It's so good. So damn good. So let's get into what the scent smells like. This might be a long video, but I saw a hell of a lot of talking. Oh, <laughs> so I love this. This smells good. <clears throat> the scent profile, the fragrance is inspired by Killian Single Malt, which captures the unique aroma of a well-aged Barrel Reserve Single Malt, an instant shot of, an, shot, did I spell it right? My handwriting sucks. An instant shot of ripe plum immediately, immediately gives the initial boozy aroma of the whiskey that is followed by a wheat accord and embedded with Tulu balsam and a sensual warm vanilla. Yeah, off the tub, it's boozy. Yeah, it's got that boozy scent to it. It's dark. It's warm. It's got the vanilla in there, but it's not straight at you. It is, off the tub, this is amazing. And I've already worn the EVP at work on Thursday. And yeah, it's... I put it on like 4.30 in the morning. I got home around 3, 3.15. I can still smell it on me. Like, it lingers. It's it's good. This is like... I, I, I can't speak. So yeah, this is awesome. So we're going to be putting that in the potato bowl, loading it up. And I want to point something else out. Yeah, I did grab the EDP. The EDP is actually like a frosted glass. You can't see into it though. I I might want to. I might. I might grab another one of these EDPs because this does smell really good. A nice, good fall, wintry type scent. Now the aftershave. Same label, but what I think is really dang cool what they did. It looks clear up top because it is. The bottom's red, but if you look, yeah, it it um like a sunburst, like a guitar sunburst. It fades. So if you get, flip it upside down, yeah. It is still clear, but this is red. So, really awesome. They did really, really good work. Really nice touches. And yes, I'm glad I bought this set. And we're going to shave with it. Be right back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel my temperature rising. Just a hunk of, hunk of burning love. So, I wanted to show you guys. Yeah. You see the bottom? And you can see how much I scraped. It's cool. There's more layers to it. Ogres like onions. They got layers, right? Yeah. Razor Emporium pre-shave already on. You guys see me use pre-shave before. It's not hard to put on. So, I'm trying to save time because I got a lot of talking. This actually is brownish. It's not white. It's got a brownish type color. Like, it matches the bowl. But yeah, it's not white at all. It's brownish. A pinkish brownish color. 
Yeah. So yes, this scent is supposed to resemble like a 20 year old malt, like whiskey malt. And I looked up the Killian's uh, single malt. Pretty damn expensive scent. Like $200, 200 to like 250 bucks. I was like, dang. So yeah, it does. It's boozy. It's woodsy. It smells good. This is, I'm glad I got this one. A little bit more water than usual. Or, yeah, it does. It is a pretty thirsty soap to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's brownish, pinkish. I don't know if you guys can catch that. It's not white at all. Yeah, it's 20-year-old single malt. So what they were going for is if you were to be actually in the movie, like with Jack's in the Red Room or the Gold Room, and he's drinking, this is the scent that's supposed to, like, linger when you're walking through that hotel. Yeah, it smells so... It's a good one. This is a good one. All right, pass number one. Here we go. Four days growth. That's a pretty nice blade. Yeah, residual slickness, very good. Yeah, it's crazy the color of it. Come play with us, Danny. <laughs> Come play with us. Shining is amazing. The uh, second one's good too. I thought it would be horrible. Top of my head, I can't remember what the second one's called. Dr. Strain? No, Dr. Sleep? Put it right here, I don't remember. It's got Ewan McGregor in it though. It's really, really good. I thought, man, sequel, you know, Shining. A lot of new movies, I'm sorry, a lot of new movies suck. <laughs> like, yeah, a lot of new movies are terrible, but that was a damn good one. It surprised me. Really, really good. Yeah. So how y'all doing? Didn't see on Halloween, so I did. I did want to do this one Tuesday on Halloween, but yeah, I didn't. Nice blade so far. It's efficient. It's sharp. Yeah. And I wanted to use the Overlander to give it a fair shot because I know the Overlander. Pretty good DE razor. All right, let's get the neck. Sorry, I'm not talking much. <laughs> so far, this is a nice, good DE blade. Good combination. <laughs> Try to talk and not lose your lips while you're shaving. Yeah, don't know. Okay. All right, yeah. Nice. All right, we're going to do a two-passer. Two-passer on the cheekers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So did you guys do anything for Halloween? I didn't do anything. I just went to work. Came home. I did do a shave. Top of my head, I forgot what I used. And yeah. No trick-or-treaters. Even before COVID. I used to have trick-or-treaters a lot, but not, not really anymore. Even though it was like an elementary school by the house. No, 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 no trick-or-treaters. Just looking at this, the way I can describe what this looks like, have you ever took, when you're a kid, or even adult now, don't matter, Cocoa Puffs, when you're eating Cocoa Puffs and the milk left over, that's what the color looks like. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Like milk, chocolate milky cocoa, cocoa Puffs. 
Go cuckoo, cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. Ah! Pass two. Ooh yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, you can't shave that way. Nice DE blade. I'm glad I picked these up. But like I said, we're going to be using <clears throat> next few shaves. We're going to be using them, keeping a count on them too. It says you can get between four to eight shaves out of them. If that's the case, that's a five pack that should last you a while. Very good. Mm -mm. Yeah, a long video, but I had a lot of talking points in this one. I don't like leaving out the end kind of detail. Load. Gone, gone, gone. Yes, that was a good shave. Very, very, <clears throat> very good. Very close, very efficient, very smooth. Soap's got good residual slickness. Uh, I think there's a couple right there, real tiny. Nothing else, though, yeah. Yeah, clean up and I'll be right back. <coughs> hey, I heard you missed us. We're back. I brought my shave soup. Give me something to serve with, man. All right, <laughs> very close, very efficient, very smooth. That is a really, like you can hear it, like stick smooth. That's a close blade. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing more shaves with that particular DE blade. Try and do about maybe eight of them. See if we can get. I did get me there. Two right there. Damn vampire. Vampire bat. Okay, Alan Black. P A Izzle. Alan Blizzle. Oh shizzle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, no sting. But yeah, it was very close. Oh, that does sting. How oh, I got me right there. The problem here is like right here. It's up in here. Weird. That residual vampire from Halloween that got me. <laughs> Still got you on Halloween. Oh, oh, oh. Silver Shamrock. Halloween 3. A lot of people hated that movie when it came out because they thought it was supposed to be like Michael Myers in it. But that wasn't what John Car Carpenter's thing was. It was supposed to be, for y'all that don't know... Michael Myers was supposed to be one of the one, one thing in a series of things. So Halloween one and two, Michael Myers is gone. He's dead. And they're going to come out with three, season of the witch. And I think part four they were supposed to do like a, um, it was supposed to be like a ghost or something. I don't know, but it just flopped. But when I was a kid, it's terrible. Now that I'm older, it's kind of like a cult classic. Like it's not a bad movie if you just don't think about like Michael Myers. Halloween three is a pretty cool movie. So. And then in Halloween Ends, or Halloween Kills, they do a homage to that with the three masks. Yeah, really cool. Huge Halloween fan. All right, so I think that's shaken up enough. Yeah, very cool. They did They did a lot of... They did really... I can't talk. They did a lot of work on this one. That's what I'm going to say. First line shades, room, three, room 237. Yeah, they did a lot of work. Oh, it's still so good. I don't know if I would be using it in the summertime, because it, it is a, it's boozy, it's dark, it's warm, and it smells so effing amazing. I'm so glad I picked it up. Like I said, I'm recording, yeah. Like I said, initially I just bought the soap because I thought the label was so awesome. And then I smelt it and they snuck in that little sample EDP and I'm like, I got to get the whole trifecta. So, the trifecta I think is still available. Link down below. I think... Links down below if you want to check out anything today. Today on um, DE Razor Shaving with Chris. <laughs> EDP. Like I said, I might I might grab another one of these because this does smell so good. I only have two EDPs from First Line. This one and this one. Quick 
move. I wear this all the time at work. So many people give me compliments on this. Oh, all the women are always like, damn, you smell good. I'm like, <laughs> so yeah, Fallout is a damn good one too. But this one, yeah, this is like a summer or um, this is like a fall winter scent. So that's all I'm using. I'm not going crazy with it because it does, it's got longevity. It does have staying powder. Like I, uh, like I said, Thursday when I went to work, I sprayed it on at 4.30 in the morning. By the time I got home, about 3, 3, 3, 3, 3.15, I could still smell it on me. It's good. The dry down, the dry down is boozy. So when you're out and about, it'll hit you with that whiff, with that, um, that boozy, woodsy, almost vanilla-y. The vanilla's not, it's in the background, but it's, it's woodsy. The way I can describe it, it's boozy, it's warm, it's woodsy. I've never smelt the real, like, real Killian's single malt, but I think they did a really good job on this. And the whole set, this, go check it out. I'm done, not just the, the label. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's really good. And I, I personally think they really knocked it out of the part with this trifecta. So, recap of what we used today. I told you this video is going to be long, but yeah, a lot of talking. Okay, those went away. First line shaved EDP, room two, three seven very very good we also use the matching aftershave today aftershave splash room two three seven freaking it freaking awesome pa album block we use my homemade <laughs> jim beam brush shot glass 24 millimeter synthetic maggard nut yeah gonna be doing a giveaway when i get to a thousand subscribers you guys are gonna get one of those Whatever one you want, don't matter to me. Put it a bowl, uh, scooped with PA pick. Pre shave today was Phoenix Artisan. Pre shave today was Razor Emporium pre shave. Cube Doc. Yeah. Oh, uh, DE Razor. Carve Overlander 7075 top cap. Carve Overlander stainless steel bottom cap. Nap handle with a red tip and with a first. Use from the razor from the razor company, Tatara De Blade. Got the Japanese samurai guy right there. <clears throat> like I said, do you, it says you can get between four to eight shaves out of it. So we're going to be putting that particular De Blade to the test. See how many shaves we can actually get out of it on this channel. Is that it? No. Star of the show today. Oh. First line shaves. FLS room 237 freaking awesome label like the way they did this they did a lot of work on this and like yeah if you're watching my video whoever did this label and know more about it what in the hell is she holding is it actually an axe is she holding the axe is it a book I can't feel I looked at it for so long I cannot I cannot figure out what the hell she's holding she's holding something so if you know, whoever made this label, First Line Shave, if you guys are watching my video, what is she holding? Anybody else that knows anything about this label, what is in her hand? Very cool. Smells awesome. Awesome label. They did go a lot of work. I'm doing a lot of talking, but I thought I needed to. So, yeah. Those cleaned up nice. That's it. That is the shave of the day, ladies and gents. And yeah, I wanted to do this one on Halloween, but oh well. A little bit late. Literally. Better late than never, right? Okay, so, <laughs> rambling. <coughs> so, hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week, good shaves, more to come. Check out anything down below if it's available. Links down below to check out anything. Read more up on it. I highly recommend that. Even if you don't buy the soap set and splash, the EDP is. Mm, all you frag heads out there that are like, like frags, it's good. It's good. It's, it's good. So, <laughs> see you ladies and gents soon.